How to draw a modern house in one point perspective. Hi, Tom here and in this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you a simple way to draw a house using one point perspective. In this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil, but any pencil would do. The first step is to draw a thin vertical rectangle just right of the center of your page. Next, draw a thin horizontal rectangle on the left. Make sure this new horizontal rectangle does not touch the first vertical rectangle. We need a little bit of space between them. For this drawing, you could use a ruler or just draw the lines by eye. Doesn't really matter. For one point perspective, we need a vanishing point, a point where all parallel lines that are going away from us will look like they meet. Draw a cross for a vanishing point below the horizontal rectangle and to the left of the vertical rectangle. From this vanishing point, which represents the height of the eye that we're looking at, from this vanishing point, draw a line from the base of the vertical and horizontal rectangles and also from the top of the vertical rectangle. Next, draw a line from the top diagonal to the base diagonal, a vertical line that goes behind the horizontal rectangle that we drew. Next, draw two horizontal lines and then a vertical line so that we have a rectangle, a rectangle that we're looking straight on at, with, as it were, two 3D rectangles attached to it, one horizontal and one vertical. Now we can divide this new flat rectangle with some vertical lines to indicate where there might be panels of windows or doors later on. Next, using our vanishing point, draw a diagonal line to the rectangular base on the far left of your drawing. We can draw another diagonal here and just join them with a short vertical line and we have a start of the room, a room that we can see through the glass wall window, the glass window which is also a wall. Draw two more horizontal lines for the back wall of the room. Now we can follow these horizontal lines across the right of the house to extend the house in that direction. I think we could add a garage door on this side of the house so that we can just draw a rectangle looking straight on at it for that garage door. In one point perspective, we just need to use the one single vanishing point. In this drawing, it represents the point that we are looking at near the center of the image. So we're looking, as a viewer, we're looking straight ahead at the house. And we're sort of looking through the house and all of the lines which are parallel and going away from us will all look like they meet, they'll look like they meet at this vanishing point. We can use the vanishing point to draw a series of lines to the base of the paper. This should all look like paths that are going away from us towards our single vanishing point. I will draw a rectangle for a door here. And we can extend the building for a second floor. Again, all of the vertical and horizontal lines are parallel. All the vertical lines are parallel to each other and all of the horizontal lines are parallel to each other and all of the vertical and horizontal lines in your drawing it would be good if they line up with the 
vertical and horizontal edges of your paper. We can add some floorboards to the room, again using our vanishing point. The room goes behind the door, the door's solid, but the wall of the room is glass, so we can see through it and see the converging lines of the floorboards. I will add another hole in the roof on the left. This drawing is based on a house in West Vancouver in Canada. I'll put some more information about the house. It's an interesting house. I'll put some more information in the description of this video. Once you have the basic shapes of your modern house and you have checked the perspective looks okay, we can then add some shading. For this drawing, I'm using a 4B pencil. Any dark pencil will do for the tonal shading. I want this drawing to look like it's in the evening or maybe even night time and that all of the lights in the house are on and they're bright. So I need to shade the edges of the wall, of all of the walls and the roof first that are facing us as dark as I can and then I think I'll add some textured marks to this hedge on the right. I'll put some horizontal lines here on the garage door. And now we could add a natural stone texture to this vertical wall, first part of our drawing that we drew. And for the side of this vertical wall, because we're just using one point perspective, all of the side lines will go towards our vanishing point. We can shade in, tone in the area on the right of the wall, as I want to make that a darker area of the drawing and a darker area of the house. The garage will be a darker area. And we can darken some of the edges and pathways in the foreground of the drawing too. I think that might look good. Now it's time to shade in the sky. We just need a mid-tone, I think, somewhere between dark and light. If you can use the side of the pencil, you'll get a flatter tone when you do shading. I think I'll leave some lines in the sky, sort of lines going towards our vanishing point, to emphasise the one-point perspective. Now we can add more tone on the right, and we can extend the vertical lines of the house downwards and shade those in, just delicately, like reflections in a shiny surface. Now it's time I think to add the inside of this empty room that we've been drawing. I'll add a sort of standard light lamp, a sofa, and maybe a few other things, again using the vanishing point for the lines that are going away from us. The last step in this drawing is to use an eraser. We can, the sharp edge of an eraser would be best, and we can erase some diagonal marks to create some white lines because we're erasing the tone, and hopefully they'll look like reflective marks in front of the house. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Circle Line Art School, to keep up to date with all the content I make. I post a new video every week and there are over 300 drawings to watch. I hope you find this drawing useful for your own drawings. Please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com. I hope you like, share and comment on this video. Thank you so much for watching. Keep drawing and see you next time.